Hi everyone, Coach Jack Callagher here. I am officially on a rant. <laughs> and I know you're all like, whoa, it's probably been a while, right? So um, here I was, I'd say the last few months, right? If you follow my journey, you know we've been all over the freaking place. I get told all the time that we are so busy that people can't even imagine our lives that um, you know, I make people tired just telling them about our lives and it's freaking pretty crazy. And so I realized that I obviously share a lot on Facebook and the reason I do that is so I can connect with others, let them know that they're not alone. And it's really, really important to me to be truthful, to be real, to be raw, to be honest. And I feel like lately that I've done y'all a disservice because why? Okay, let me... I have notes because I'm gonna stay focused. Hi Robin, you're so sweet. If you guys hop on, let me know that you're on. But I promise, this is something that not only do you need to hear, that your friends need to hear, that your friends' friends need to hear, and honestly, I needed to hear it, okay? So we're gonna talk tonight. Let me move you all over a little bit. God only knows what I'm gonna do with my technology. Um, and again, I do have notes, but I wanna talk about our dreams. I wanna talk about our goals. I wanna talk about something that people don't friggin' talk about. Um, I will warn you, my children are in bed, so if I swear, I'm sorry. And I'm not trying to, I will try hard not to, because I do want people to um, be able to share this with others, and some people don't like swearing or cursing. Uh, but I'm from Mass. And that's not a good excuse, but I'm gonna use it anyways. Um, okay, so guys, let's talk about your dreams. Now, dreams are not meant to be one thing. They're not meant to be one thing. They're not meant to be easy, right? So talk about dreams, goals. Goals are not meant to be easily achieved. Whether that be your health and fitness goal, whether that be finding the man of your dreams, whether that be having healthy babies, those aren't easy things, right? Anything, um, how about this, how about this? College, getting a degree, getting a certification, like improving on your life, is any of that easy? Is it? Honestly, guys, answer me. Is, are any of those things easy? Any goal you've ever set in life, have you sat, sat there and thought, wow, I'm gonna set this goal. Why the hell would it be a goal anyways? If it was easily achieved, it would just be a task, right? Wouldn't be a goal, it would be a task. So when I tell you guys something, when I'm telling you that setting goals and dreams is so important, when I challenge y'all to do it today on my post earlier, set 10 goals and dreams that shouldn't be easily achieved, will not be achieved by an overnight success. I say that for a reason. I say that because I wanna push you out of your comfort zone because I needed to be pushed out of my comfort zone. I needed to be pushed past the limit that I thought was good enough because truly, truly, nothing is good enough in life until we have fulfilled our goal and fulfilled our purposes, okay? So, reasons that people give up on their dreams are one, guys, it gets hard. It gets difficult. It takes too long. Someone else achieves their goal before you and you have the same goal and you get frustrated. You start comparing your journey. You think that you should have been there and you should have done that and, and why didn't I get there and why didn't I get that promotion or why didn't I um, rank up or why didn't I get pregnant when that person, I was trying to get pregnant and I was like, man, no, this isn't sun, by the way. <laughs> totally trying to stay focused, Amanda. This isn't sun. This is pregnancy rosacea. So yeah. And I just took a really hot bath. So don't judge me. But I'm telling you right now, it takes, it's too hard. It takes too long. Guys, think about the really successful, successful people in life. I'm reading this book right now that I friggin' love that got me all fired up called Girl, Wash Your Face. And she was talking about Julia Child. She was talking about all these incredible people, if I could find it in here, that it took them 13, 15 years. How about the movie Avatar? It took them 15 years to create that movie. 15 friggin' years. If they quit, they gave up. It wouldn't be the number one movie. It still is the number one movie. That's pretty amazing. And don't quote me on that, but that's amazing. 15 years and that person didn't give up. Those people didn't quit. Now, I have to ask you this. How long have you been working on your dream? How long have you been working on your goal? Have you been working on it long enough that you should quit or give up? Have you achieved it? If the answer is no, then you have not been working on it long enough. And I'm gonna tell you right now that something that is driving me crazy on Facebook, I don't know if it's just targeting me or if people are just messaging me, but you know what, I don't think I share, and this is where my disservice to you guys comes in. This is where it comes in. I don't think that I share, I guess, enough how hard I work and how much I'm not willing to quit because I have big ass dreams and because I have goals and because I don't care how freaking long it takes me to achieve them. I don't care how hard it gets. I don't care that I have to hustle. I don't care. That's something that has to be done to make big things happen. 
So when I see these Facebook ads, I swear my freaking Facebook has been filled with not only diet quick fixes these days, but quick fixes for businesses, quick fixes for other MLMs or network marketing because you shouldn't have to hustle, you shouldn't have to work hard, you shouldn't be two years into your business and not have achieved $200,000 a year. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lie. That is a lie. Watch my video. Sign up here. Guys, this is where you need to be cautious. You need to watch yourself. You need to watch your friends and your family. And you need to be careful. Look, come learn from me. Learn everything that I've learned about coaching in three and a half years. I'm going to teach you it in 20 minutes and you're going to be successful. Would you believe me? Would you believe me? Please say no because it would be a lie. I can't teach my coaches, my new coaches that sign up everything that I've learned in three and a half years, even in a year even in two years, guess what? It's gonna take them three and a half years because every year that I put into my business, every year that I put into momming, every year that I put into being a wife, it's hard work and it's a learning year. It pushes me closer to my goals, right? But when these people and these ads and these people quit all the time, and I'm fine with quitting. If you quit because you don't fall in love with it or it's not your passion or whatever it is, I'm fine with that. Own your shit. Don't come and say, I worked so hard for three years and it didn't pay off. And so now I've started this other business over here. And look, I made a million dollars overnight and I want to share my secret with you. So give me $500 and I'll give you one-on-one -on -one coaching and boom, you're going to make a million dollars. And they always have disclaimers and they always have this and that. And, but I'm sitting here and I'm like, I read them one after another, after another. And I'm like, I don't talk about this enough. And you know what? For my followers and my tribe, I don't want them falling in, into that quick fix, that easy solution mentality, because that's not why we're friends. That's not why we're connected. That's not why you're on my feed. Whether you stumbled across my video by accident or not, it is my job to educate you. I have been coaching, I have been doing an MLM, a network marketing, an at-home business for three and a half years and I have hustled. Hustled meaning I work hard, not meaning I'm in it to scam people. Oh my God. When people tell me I don't wanna hustle like you do, and I, I was starting to feel really low about it. I'm like, man, am I hustling? Should I quit? Is this too hard? Is this, is it because it, it takes so much work to reach my goals? Am I hustling myself into crazy? Should I quit? Is this not right for me? Is it taking too long? Did, you know, Pam, I don't even know a Pam on my team, so that's good. That's, did Pam meet her goals before I met my goals and maybe this business isn't for me? All questions that will spiral you if you are not careful. All things that will happen if you are comparing yourself to others. If you are spending too much time on those Facebook ads or following those friends that were doing XYZ for so long and then they quit and now they're doing something over here and then they quit there. And it's one thing to quit because you didn't love it and just own it. I'm, I'm, I love that. I love being real. I love being honest with y'all. I love saying, you know what? This didn't work. It sucked. I didn't like it. Not it didn't work. I didn't work. But the excuses, the quick fixes, the join me now, watch my webinar, make a million dollars, start your own business over here. If you start a new business, every time it gets hard, you're restarting your entire goal, your entire dream over again, just because it got hard. Guess what? I can't quit on parenting because it gets hard. I can't quit on wifing because it gets hard. That's bull. That's not, no one ever said life was supposed to be easy. And I feel like I just, and again, I apologize. I am on a rant, but I feel like that's where maybe I, maybe I haven't posted about that enough. Maybe I haven't shared with you guys enough how hard I truly do work. I get up early. Well, right now I'm trying to get up early because I'm pregnant with number four, so I am tired. But I, the first year of my business, you guys, I worked a lot. Why? Because my goals are huge. My goals are still huge. They're still huge and they're not gonna change. I'm not gonna give up on them. I'm not gonna change them because I'm getting lazy or I'm getting tired. I'm gonna give myself grace in this time period and I'm gonna tell people, hey, I wish I was a better mentor to you. I wish I could be the best coach I can. But guess what, I'm human too. And in this season of where I am, this is all I can give and I will give you all that I can give you, but you need to meet me halfway. 
You need to meet me where I'm meeting you. You need to show up to your dreams and your goals, whatever they are, whatever they are, you need to show up. And it's really, really frustrating to me to see people go through the ringer, try a business for a month or two or four years and quit. And then go to the next best thing because Sally's making more money over there. And if I know one Sally and Sally, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> She's not even in network marketing, but because I'm making more money faster. Weird because I seem to remember passion and purpose and service doesn't always link up to earning money the fastest, living the best quality of life, enjoying it, having a tribe, having the people, living your purpose links up. That links up. Guess what? You do what you love, the money comes. That phrase, I don't know who coined it, but they're a genius because you do what you love, you serve others, you stick around when it gets hard and you'll make it work. It will work. Who cares if it takes five years? Who cares if it takes 10 years? Who cares if you have a hater down the street that's telling you no? Let them tell you. Don't let them control your dreams. It is disgusting to me to see all these Facebook ads. All of them, all the time. And guys, I work on Facebook, so yeah, I am on it. I am on it every day, except for Sunday. I really take a break and I don't, and Saturdays, I, but during the week, I'm on it. I see it. Don't believe the lies. Don't believe the hype. Don't fall for those. You have big goals, big dreams. You gotta work. You gotta hustle. And if they're telling you you don't, they're lying to your face. And your hustle could be one hour a day. One hour a day to build a business. They're still gonna tell you you're hustling too much. Okay, then how am I supposed to build something if I don't work at it, right? Are you guys with me? I know I'm like talking fast and talking a lot. Does this resonate with any of you? Are you there? Have you seen these ads? Are they driving you crazy as well? Have you fallen for them? Have you, I'm sorry, my hair's everywhere. Have you just, have you leaned into that? Have you maybe started something and quit and then felt bad and whatever it is, but like, are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing this whole wash of things come over your Facebook newsfeed and you're wondering, are they true? Is it possible? Can I do what they're doing? Is it true? Is it possible? Can I do what they're doing? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't get to where I am by picking the easy way out. I didn't get to where I'm going. I'm not gonna get to where I'm going by quitting because it takes hard work. I am okay with hard work. I thrive off hard work. Do I get tired? Yes. Do I take breaks? Yes. Do I take vacations? Yes. Do I have more time freedom than most people I know? Yes. Do I still choose to fill up my schedule with my kids' sports, with Bible study, with running groups because I love it and I'm passionate about it? Yes. I'm starting another new group and it's totally free. It has nothing to do with anything except for my pull that God placed on my heart to help people battle everyday things that come into our heart, battles with our kids, with our husbands. And it's doing a, a group and I was like, all right, God, I hear you. I'm going to do it. It's more work for me. But guess what? I can do all things, not by myself, but I can do all things with him. I can do all things through, through Christ. I don't need, I'm not doing all this work on my own. I'm not hustling by myself. So, all right, let me go over my, <laughs> sorry guys, I need a drink. It's a seltzer, okay? It's a seltzer water, seltzer water. But oh my God. Um, yes, exactly. Thank you, Shayla. Exactly. Caitlin, oh, thanks girl. I've seen them. They're driving me nuts. I can name like five of them because I think I've blocked them. Robin, I will definitely shoot you a message. We have a team call here at 8.30. Um, yes, 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 yes. See, you guys are with me and that's what I love about our tribe. That's what I love about you guys. That's why I love when you're, when you're on these videos, when you feel this, when you hear this because these words are meant for you. Okay, so let me get my note. So don't tell me this. I love this one. Don't tell me that this is straight from straight from Rachel. She's amazing. It says, don't tell me you don't have, you don't have it in you to want something more for your life. I don't like that. And I was like, yes, Rachel, tell me more. And then she goes, don't tell me that you have to give up because it's too hard because this right here, achieving your goals, achieve, moving forward in your life, that's life or death, my friend. That is life or death, okay? This gets awesome. She goes, 
This is the difference between living the life you have always dreamed of, always dreamed of, or sitting alongside the death of the person that you were meant to become. Hard work, that's what that is, life or death. That's scary to me. That creates a stirring in my stomach that makes me sick. Because I'm sitting here saying, oh God, just because I'm hearing these people, they're telling me I work too hard, they're telling me I do all these things, they're telling, they are, they are, they are, wait a minute, who are they? Are they controlling my dreams? Are they living my life? Are they gonna reap the benefits when not only do I grow a business for myself, because I have a, I run my lifestyle groups over here, but I do my, my other coaching over here, and with my lifestyle groups, it, yeah, I love that, it's great, it's fun, I can't help other women, or men, I mainly work with women, uh, build a business and empower them to earn an income that gives them the freedom that they deserve to seek a higher purpose. I can do that through coaching. I can do that. I can empower them to earn an income that will give them freedoms beyond their wildest dreams. But guess what? It's not going to happen in 24 hours. It's not going to happen in a year. It's not going to probably happen in two years. I'm in it for the long haul. But I swear and I promise to y'all, if I'm in it and you're in it and we do it together, it might take time. But what's the worst thing that happens? You achieve goals, small goals, you celebrate those goals along the way. Before you know it, you look back and you've earned an income that you're like, how the heck did that even happen? It happened by showing up. It happened by putting your foot down and saying, you know what? No, I don't want all your tips and all your tricks in five minutes because I can't, what am I gonna do? Get overwhelmed and not be able to do everything you do? I mean, really, it's insane. Okay, so I'm going to give you my final point. We have our team call, like I said. Whew. Okay, here we go. It says nothing that actually lasts is accomplished quickly. So guys, give me some examples. What have you seen? I, the easiest one I can think of, honestly, is diets, like quick fix diets, um, drinking diet drinks or diet pills or all that stuff. What have you seen? lately or something the first thing that comes to mind that's a quick fix that actually harms you more in the end and I can think of that number one my the first thing whether I was in health and fitness coaching or whatever or not is is the diets the the not finding a lifestyle balance but instead um drinking powders or like <laughs> literally because everyone's like isn't your shake a weight loss shake and I'm like yeah no no doesn't say that, I don't say that, I don't say it on the back, doesn't say it anywhere. Anywhere. I will never call what I drink a weight loss shake. It is a superfood shake because I'm fueling my body. So let's see, diets, keto, <laughs> Robin, amen sister. I didn't wanna say that, but you did and I'm right there with you. Like, no, I'm not putting a creamer in my coffee that's gonna make me lose weight. Sorry. If you're into that, good for you. We're just not on the same page, okay? Um, yes. Okay, anybody else? Diet, honestly, diets come to mind. Not eating enough, yes, exactly, exactly, not eating enough. That is emotional eating. Emotional eating is such a hard thing to overcome. Such a hard thing. Yeah, and honestly, it, uh, for some reason, it links back to that. But I want you guys to do me a favor. I posted something earlier today that call, gave you a call to action. It's me and two of my girls with our little pregnant bellies. And it's a post just all about pursuing your dreams. I want you to go read it. It's pretty quick. Come on, guys. You just hang out and watch this video forever. Um, and read it. Come up with your list of 10. I'm challenging you. Come up with your list of 10 things, 10 goals that you want to achieve. And then comment them on that. Comment them on there. Or guess what? Hang them up in your house. You don't have to comment them if you don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable. You don't, And I, I commented mine because I wanted to be completely transparent with you guys. That's just who I am. You have questions? Ask. You have concerns? Ask ask you need help ask I told you this season of my life is crazy but most seasons of my life are crazy because I choose not to just sit back and do Netflix and chilling I think that's an inappropriate term but I don't know I'm too old for that and I realized I never took a sip of my seltzer when I wanted one <laughs> so I love you guys I want you to make that change. I want you to make that list of 10 things. I want you to, when you see something that looks too good to be true, like a quick fix diet or losing 50 pounds in a month, that is unsafe, that is not real. 
and do the hard work. Choose the hard way because you know what? At the end of the day, choosing hard, it's hard. It's hard, but get over it. No one ever told you life was going to be easy. Being born isn't easy. Like literally the mom giving labor isn't easy. Baby, traumatic experience. I'm glad we can't remember it. Nothing is easy from birth on. We're on this earth for a reason, but it's time to show up. It's time to say, is what I'm doing good enough? Could I be doing more? And am I willing to put in the hard work? Am I willing to push outside of my comfort zone? Am I willing to take the next step? Because if you're not willing to show up and if you're only willing to show up for a month or two to your life, I don't want to help you. I know that might sound bad, but I'm not going to just speak at someone when someone doesn't want to listen. I'm not just going to give my advice and my time and my energy and my effort to those who truly don't want help. If you don't want to show up to your health and fitness journey, then don't come to me. If you want to have a quick fix, please go do something else. Do your diet. Come back when you're ready. I'm going to be here. I promise I'm not going anywhere because I'm not scared of hard work. If you are looking to start a business that changes life, that empowers people, that helps people to get healthy, that helps to change families' lives, that helps. I read a post the other day, and I know it was real because I know this person. One program, 80 days. This person, 80 days, lowered their cholesterol by 75 points. What? What was that? How was that done? What pill can I take? You can't. It was showing up every day to health to nutrition, to working out, with the accountability and the support. If you're looking for the easy way out, please don't waste my time. Yes, Lamar, I do need a drink. G give me one in like three months, <laughs> I think, right? I don't know, 14 weeks, oh God. Um, but seriously, seriously, don't waste my time, don't waste your time. If you do wanna start a business, if you are looking for something different, if you do wanna start a health journey and actually put forth the work, if you are gonna show up, I'll show up too. And if not, don't waste my time, don't waste any of my coach's time. Don't waste my husband's time telling him how much you want to change, but then you actually don't do anything. Because life's too short for me to spend time on people that don't want to put in the effort. And yeah, that I might sound like an asshole, but that's just the reality of it. So, okay, like I said, I got to hop off. We have this team call because guess what? I'm going to hustle. I'm going to work. That's what I do. <laughs> my sister just called me, and I got to call her back because I have nine minutes, and I want to talk to her real quick. All right, I love you guys. There she is. She's double calling me. If this video helped you at all, like it, love it, share it. I love you guys. Um, yeah, and tune in this week. Lots of good. She just triple called. Must be an emergency. Peace out.